Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way in which you can add music to your card site. Now if you didn't know what card is, card's basically a website where you can create one page websites for your profile or portfolio, whatever you may be using it for. And there is actually an option where you can add music to your website. So I'm going to guide you through it and we're going to look now on how you can actually add music to your site. So to start with, you first want to have your site open like this and you just want to add a new element. So the way to do that is go in the top right corner where we can find this plus symbol. And when we click on that, it drops down this menu. Now, since we want to add music, we want to select audio, which is here on the left hand side. So select that. And as you can see, this audio box will appear. So when we click on it, it will open this page on the left and it will ask for a URL. Now, it accepts URLs from the following, Bandcamp, Google Drive, or SoundCloud. So they're the only options, so make sure you choose one of those. If you don't have SoundCloud or Bandcamp and you wanted to get your music off YouTube, what you could do is just download it from YouTube and then upload it to a Google Drive folder. And then you can paste the link like this from your Google Drive and then you can input it into here and then you'll be able to play whatever music you want. However, for this example, I'm just going to find a song on SoundCloud. Okay, so I've got my song now from SoundCloud. So what we're going to do is just paste it into the URL here. So we can right click and click paste or just click control V and as you can see here the SoundCloud thing as you can see here the SoundCloud link has now been added so there's also a few more things we can change we can head over to the appearance and change the style of it we can change the width of it we can choose to have the artwork on the uploader's name we can basically just customize all these little things to match it how we like and then you can also choose the option to allow background play and what that will mean is it will continue playing audio even when even when changing between sections. So once you have all your options selected and you've got your song pasted, you want to click done. And now the audio has now been embedded into your website. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please comment down below to say that it helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.